Sharon here. So today I'm going to be doing a massive, huge book unhaul. Now I haven't done an unhaul in a very, very long time. So I have a, an enormous amount of books that I really need to get rid of. So this is gonna take a while. And it's gonna be really, really hard because I love books and I really, I don't know, they just special to my heart. It's really hard to declutter. But it's springtime, at least in my heart, because in the state of Minnesota right now, it's not looking like that too much because we just got this massive, huge storm over the last 24 hours, 13 inches of snow. So it really doesn't feel like springtime. But like I said, I feel like it's springtime and I'm ready to declutter and donate some books or trade in some books. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right in there. I'm gonna dive right in and we're gonna go through a whole bunch of books that I'm going to get rid of. We have Fire by Cullen McCann. I don't know why it was in my collection. I've not read it. I don't know anything about it. My daughter actually had it and she put it in the pile to be contributed. So yeah, I'm just gonna de declutter. This will be my first book to get started, so yeah. The Hero on the Crown by Robin McKinley. I read it a long time ago. Really, really good book. Just don't need it in my collection. City of Bones by Cassandra Clark. I already have this in my collection, but I don't know why I bought, I don't know, the cover's really cool, but I don't need two of them. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Never read it. We have the Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban. We are actually bought this first read it but then my daughter wanted to add the hardback cover to her collection so i'm just going to donate this great book though right lily's crossing by P patricia riley gith and then flipped by wendelin van Bronnen. yeah we're going to donate those the people of sparks gianni duprow don't know Esperanza's Rising and Blue is for Nightmare. Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. Never read it. Inkheart by Cornelia Funk. Really good. Highly recommended, but I just don't need it in my collection. Princess Diaries by Megan Cabot. Read it. Loved it. Just don't need it. Cry of the Ice Mark. Never read it. Don't know if it's good. Stuart Hill wrote it. Stuart Hill wrote it. I don't know. We'll donate that. Maximum Ride by James Patterson, his mid-grade young adult high school genre series. Read them all, really good, liked them, enjoyed them, just don't need them in my collection anymore. So that's the mid-grade kind of young adult. That's what I have. My daughters helped donate that, pretty proud of them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was fun. We're moving on now. The Summoner, I think I got 10 pages into it and had to put it down, not that good. We'll donate that. The Last Storm Lord. Don't know if I read it. I think I bought it probably on a whim. Yeah, it looks great though. I'll donate that. Ted Williams, great fantasy writer. Really good book. Just don't want to keep this in my collection. If I was to read Ted Williams again, I would probably collect it in a paperback and not a mass market paperback because it would be bigger and thinner. Terry Goodkind, great fantasy writer. Um, his books are notoriously thick like this, but yeah, if I, I've read this book like twice. Really, really good, but they're so dang thick that I just don't want to spend all the time that I need you know, to read other books, so I'm just going to donate these two. This is Legend of Luke. This is the Redwall series, the first one in that series. So good. I, I've read this like three times, five out of five stars. It has a series of like 10 books, just really, really good. This is gonna be really hard for me to donate. You know, I should really do like a review on this sometime. Hmm. No, I gotta donate that. Kushel's Dart. I don't know anything about this. Belladonna is called by Ann Bishop. Ann Bishop is a great fantasy writer. But I don't even know if I read this. I really don't want to keep it if I don't have that, the cover to it or the sleeve. That's just not, yeah, I'm going to donate that. Legend by David Gemmel. I think I read this. I'm not sure. 
I think it was good. I'm going to donate that. And then we have these three books that we all kind of recognized, Game of Thrones series. These are the second, third, and fourth one. I had the first one on the Kindle that I read like twice because it is really, really good. But I really don't want these hardback, or excuse me, I, I really don't want the paperbacks. I, if I'm going to collect these and have these on my shelf, I think I'd like to have them in the paperback, not the mass paperback or either hardback. I know eventually, if they haven't done it already, there's going to be like special editions come out. And at that point, then I'll probably purchase them. Great series. Loved every single one of them. But just not ready to have them in my collection. So I'm going to donate those. Water for Elephants. Great book. Just don't want it in my collection. We'll donate. Grave Secrets by Kathy Reichs. I think it was good. I kind of think I remember, but yeah, we're going to donate that. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Worst book ever read. I could not finish it. Pff, oh my God. I can't believe that this happened. It was horrible. This book took a classic, the, the writer, whoever that is. Who is it? I don't know. I can't, I don't know. But anyways, took a classic story and put zombies in it stupid worst book i just it makes me angry and yeah i'm gonna donate that the death collector by justin richards supposed to be a collect a classic book i got 10 pages in i just i could not do it so donate that lillian jackson braun the cat who said cheese i probably got about halfway through this and it was boring i'm gonna donate that these two books patricia cornwall cornwell She's a great writer, but I just don't want them to be part of my collection at this point, so I'm just going to donate those. Dean Coots, One Door Away from Heaven. I really like this book, but I just don't. If I read Dean Coots, I probably will just get the book from the library, read it, and then return it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to donate this somewhere. Janet Ivanovich, One for the Money. Great series, great books. I loved them. I've read a couple more of these but they're probably just a library rental that I'll get and then return. So I would recommend these if you want a really good murder mystery. Pretty good. Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code. I just don't want a paperback of his. I actually have his hardback. I read this book about three times and I'll probably read it again because it's really good and I like pretty much anything from Dan Brown. Drowning Ruth by Christina Schwartz. I think I read it. I'm not sure. But I think I bought it on a splurge, a book haul. It's one of Oprah's book club picks. Yeah. I'm not going to keep it. Black Water by Jeremy Scah Black Water by Jeremy Scahill. I don't know. I think it's about Team Seal 6. Not sure. I think I read like the first chapter and it had a bunch of numbers and I just kind of lost interest after that. So yeah, we're going to donate that. Tammy Hogue, Dust to Dust. I really don't remember if I read this or not, but hey, the cover is absolutely gorgeous. So just so you know, some of them I purchased for the cover. Yeah. Shutter Island by Dennis Lee Hayne. Really good movie, really good book. I just don't see this as being part of my collection. Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. Not something I want to keep. Didn't really care for the story too much. It was just kind of boring to me. So we're going to donate. Laura K. Hamilton. This is the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter novels. Really good books. It's just, I just don't want the mass paperback. I really enjoyed these. If I were to read them again, I'd probably either get them from the library or buy the, the regular larger paperback. We'll donate those. The Sea King by C.L. Wilson. Definitely a hot, steamy romance book that I really enjoy reading, but I've never got around to reading it, to be honest with you. And so, yeah, I'm just going to donate this. So every now and then I'll get a, ro a steamy romance. But I think if I did get another one probably like this, I'd probably get it like on the Kindle for free or from the library. We'll donate that. Karen Marie Moaning, The Immortal Highlander. She's a good writer, actually, for romance, but yeah, it was pretty good book. I'm going to donate that. Kim Harrison, A Fistful of Charms. She does urban fantasy, but with a little of romance, but her books get kind of risque. 
definitely 18 plus. The first two books are really good, but then after that, they start getting kind of a little weird. So yeah, we'll donate that. Linda Howard, Cover of Night, really good book. Yep, I'm gonna donate this. Warrior by Maureen Brennan. Never read it, I don't think. Can't remember. But anyway, she does look like a warrior on there. She looks pretty good. I'll donate that. Sherilyn Kenyon. We had two books to put away. This one, I, uh, Son of No One, I bought twice, accidentally. And then Devil May Cry. This is the Dark Hunter novel series. I love them. They're so good. I'd like to get the whole collection. I could reread them. They're just really, really good. However, I don't want the paperback, and then I don't want two copies of the same book, so I'm just going to donate those. If Angels Burn, Lynn Vale, yeah, beautiful book. Don't know if I read it. I'm going to donate that. The Subtle Knife. Looks great. Yep, big old sword there. I think that's why I got it. Anyways, never read it, I don't think. I'm going to donate that. Susan Brockman, Into the Storm. She's a really, really good writer, and I actually enjoy her books. But like I said, this would be like a library or Kindle pick if I did. So we're just going to kind of donate that to make room on the shelf. Yeah. Gideon by Jacqueline Frank. I really like this book. It was really, really good. Nice and shiny. Has a beautiful cover to it. I'm just going to donate it, though. See how shiny it is? It's really cool. There we go. Yep. Oath of Fealty by Elizabeth Moon. Don't think I read it. Winter Stroll by Ellen Hildebrand. I bought this and it is not a standalone. It's actually part of the series. Yeah. So I'm just going to donate that. Dark Need by Lynn Vale. Really good book. Looks beautiful. I'm going to donate that. Christina Dodd's Scent of Darkness. Hot, steamy romance. Pretty good book. It's Cleopatra, and I bought this twice. Yeah. Okay, so this monster of a book is A Distant Mirror of Calamitous 14th Century. Yeah, I would probably never read this. This is a college textbook that I had to buy. I'll donate that. The Last Templar by Michael Jex. I actually like these books. They're murder mystery books, but they have a lot of historical um, accuracy to it. And so I really enjoyed it, but I just don't want part of um, my collection. Yeah. Suetonius, The Twelve Caesars. Not going to read it. No. Debating Truth. This is about the disputation of Barcelona in 1263. This was actually a college textbook that I have had to read. Not going to read it. Armies of Heaven. This is a college textbook. It's actually a book book also, so if somebody wanted to to buy and read it they could but it just talks about 12th 13th century when the popes created their own armies to go into the middle east the last the templars were part of this i think i read a couple chapters yeah the decameron by giovanni boccaccio yeah it was part of the history class that i took people can read this at any point they can buy it order it whatever but i think i read a couple chapters and i'm just pretty much going to get rid of this yeah. Up next, I'm going to do self-help books. Now, I don't buy self-help books anymore. because I just pretty much stay away from them because I've just, I'm pretty comfortable with who I am and how my life is at this point, so I really don't need any of that. But when I was younger, I thought I needed a lot of help, and so I thought maybe books would help me. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right in, and I'm just going to go through these pretty quickly. So, Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins. I got to donate that, okay? Achieving Excellence. I can't even tell you. No. You Can Make It Happen by Stedman Graham. I don't know why I got that. The Millionaire Next Door. Really good book, but, yeah, it didn't really help me be a, a millionaire. Cashflow Quadrant. I I don't even know what that means. The Courage to be Rich by Susie Orman. I'm not rich. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Good book. Just didn't really help me too much. The Wealthy Barber. I really don't know. Yeah. The Black & Decker Basic Wiring and Electrical. 
decorating with paint and wallpaper and everyday home repairs. And we just, you know, just don't need these anymore because we get all of the information that we need online. So I'm gonna donate these. Maybe maybe somebody else can get some use of them. So there we go. Depression glass, I would love to be able to collect depression glass, but I just really don't just need that clutter in my life. I'm gonna donate that. These books here are really actually really beautiful. Um, art books. They're actually called coffee table books, or at least that's what I call them. You lay them on your coffee table. People come in and they're visiting you and they can just pick up these books and start browsing through them. They're actually really beautiful. The first one here is Impressionist Art. We have Rembrandt. It features their art and it describes them. And then we have a Renoir and we have a Monet. I love all this art and everything, but I really just don't need any coffee table books. So I'm just gonna donate these. The easiest roses to grow, I can't grow roses. This one, I have no idea what this is about. The, the whole Christmas catalog, I, I don't know. I think it has some stuff you can make in it, but I, I'm gonna donate that. And then these books were actually donated by my husband. I asked him what it was and he said it's just for hunting. So I, we're gonna donate these and then hopefully somebody will get some enjoyment out of them. Yeah, because they're just kind of sitting around with us. So there we go. Okay, so there you have it. That is my huge, massive book on haul. That was pretty hard. But I feel like I accomplished something huge and that hopefully springtime will be around the corner because like I said, it's not feeling that way right now in, in Minnesota, but have a great day. Let me know your comment. Let me know what you think of this video down below. I, it'll probably be another long time before I do a book unhaul because I'm a book hoarder. That's just what I do. And yeah, so happy reading, have a great day, and I will see you soon, bye.